This use of play is brought to you by This is how we flow Oh, the offers are quite exciting And the prices will leave you smiling Everybody's got a chance to blow Get the stylish Huawei Y360 for just $205 prepaid Plus one gig free data this season This is the Bobby This Today Afternoon Update for Monday, December 14. So glad you can join us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Lawmen continue to hunt for several gunmen responsible for three separate shootings in the country. The most recent occurred in Crabill St. Lucie, where Dexter Lashley was shot in the chest while at home around 12.20 p.m. on Saturday. He remains in critical but stable condition at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. No one has been taken into custody so far. Police are also actively hunting for those who shot and killed Shane Nurse of Ruby Tenantry and Dwayne Burgess of Mali Vale on November 30th. The two died hours apart in separate shooting incidents. Police are again appealing to anyone with information pertaining to those matters to contact the nearest police station or crime stoppers. Power has been restored to affected residents in White Hill, St. Andrew. This after a huge tree fell across a road in the community, knocking out electricity and telephone services for several hours. Officials at the Light and Power Company say power had to be de-energized to facilitate the removal of the tree. But communication coordinator Jennifer Blackett tells Bobby this today it was restored about 7.30 last night. Tourism Minister Richard Seeley is urging residents to give measures being put in place by government a chance before knocking them. This as the Frontal Stewart administration prepares to head to Parliament tomorrow to table legislation seeking to increase taxes on cell phones. The bill will see VAT moving from 17.5% to 20% on mobile services. No one enjoys paying taxes, but I think what we have to accept is that we have a very high quality of life here in Barbados. In large measure, it has to do with the services that are offered by the public sector. And so in order to maintain them, we need the revenue to, to fuel it. So yeah, I guess you have to look at both sides of the equation. And, uh, so before we go criticizing necessarily uh, something like um, an increase in taxes, we just have to see how it goes and take it from there. That was Minister of Tourism, Richard Seeley. Meantime, Member of Parliament for St. Michael West, Michael Carrington, believes 2016 will bring about good things for the country's economy. And he's banking on several government projects to turn things around and bring about growth. Carrington, who is also the House Speaker, made the predictions before the start of a party branch meeting at the St. Leonard's Boys School last evening. I think the time has come and that 2016 must be the year and I expect it will be where we see uh, a greater greater growth than, than we have experienced in over the last couple of years. Um, you would see uh, a point, seventy percent growth, I'm sure the economists will tell you is negligible. So we, we need to be able to see greater than that. I think the signs are there. We have some major projects on. Uh, the Mayor Mar, Sam Lawrence Castle, I think that's the, that the entity that will be developing it, the Hyatt. But I think we also need uh, some more projects, and I have every confidence that these projects would be, would, be, uh, would be rolled out. And therefore, I would like to encourage Barbadians to, to stay, to stay with, with the government and look forward to uh, increased performances uh, during the year 2016 and beyond. The enhancement of agricultural products and the conversion of biomass material into commercial goods are high among priorities of newly inducted principal of the University of the West Indies Gable Campus, Professor Yudin Barito. Addressing her installation ceremony over the weekend, the principal spoke of immediate plans for an agriculture science park and the exploitation of the sorghum seaweed. As the premier academic institution in Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, the Cable Campus seeks to re-energize the research for Caribbean development agenda. This will take many forms. For example, we intend to fully explore the rich potential of the resources of the Caribbean Sea, including the as yet undetermined value of the sargassum seaweed. 
Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didikas Jules, is praising the new climate change agreement as a win for the world's developing countries and a testimony of Caribbean unity. The historic deal was reached at the just-concluded climate change conference in Paris. It requires both developed and developing nations to limit the greenhouse gas emissions to 2 degrees Celsius while working towards a 1.5 degree limit. Caribbean countries lobbied for a 1.5 limit on emissions during the two-week conference, but the Caribbean community said it was prepared to accept the compromise stated in the agreement. Under the deal, developing countries Trees will also receive financial assistance to reduce emissions and adjust to the effects of global warming. Countries affected by disasters which occur as a result of climate change will also receive assistance. Dr. Joe said the Caribbean has never been as unified and as single-minded in any international conference of such importance and as demonstrated at the recent summit. In sports, Barbados remains the undisputed kings of junior volleyball in the Caribbean. They, they defeated rivals Trinidad and Tobago in straight sets to retain their title at the Windy Gymnasium last night. The home team stamped their dominance in the final with sets 25-15, 25-19 and 25-22 over the Trinis. However, the ladies were not so lucky. They went down to Haiti in straight sets, 25-15, 25-8, and 25-19. This was the first championship win for the French Caribbean island. There's regional and international news after this short break. Because days before Christmas, I had so much to do. Shopping, more shopping, and I was feeling blue. There's a mother, father, a wifey, and friend. Lots of things to buy, but... There was no money to spend. Ah, I found the answer. The BT shopping spree. 15,000 in goodies. Free, free, free. It's easy to enter. Nothing hard to do. Follow my instructions and a winner can be you. Visit facebook.com backslash Barbados today. Do it quickly and fill out your form to enter this spree. Look, I'm shopping at the cost you less mega store. Come down, fill your trolleys with goodies and more. I like me, you two can say ho, ho, ho. We pick up with news from Trinidad and Tobago where the movement for social justice is calling for the governor of the central bank to go. The party claims that the governor is affecting confidence in the country's economy. More in this report from TV6 News. Mr. Abdullah says that the revelation of the top users of foreign exchange was not beneficial to the country because it was only partial and didn't educate the public on consumption patterns. He believes that the governor should have given details on suspicious transactions and how much they amounted to or how much was spent on food importation. He says the country can't continue to operate in a situation with a governor and a finance minister in conflict. In all view, he has overstayed his welcome because he is incompetent and his incompetence has shown because he's aggravating the already low level and crisis of confidence in the economy. Which crisis um, has been of confidence has been in existence for several years now. And finally, officials in Argentina say at least 41 people, most of them police officers, were killed after a bus fell off a bridge in the northwest part of the country. The bus was carrying at least 50 people when it ran off the road and fell about 65 feet into a riverbed. Emergency workers are trying to free a number of trapped passengers and so far six have been rescued. 
And that's our afternoon update. But you can join us again this evening for the very latest. You can also visit our website at www.barbidistudy.bb for more news and sports. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, and like us on Facebook. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 101 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Good afternoon.